Hey everyone, Paul the Sound Guy, product specialist for Shure, and today we're looking at Shure's beta series of microphones. Now, like our SM series, a lot of these mics are going to be familiar with because they too have become industry standards. What makes the beta family unique is the super cardioid patterns and the hardened steel mesh grills that are tough to dent. Let's look at the whole family of beta microphones and see what sounds we get. Originally, the Beta 91 was designed as a conferencing microphone, but creativity leads the way, and folks started using it as an inner kick mic. As they say, the rest is history. Paired with the Beta 52A, you get an extraordinary kick drum sound with loads of thump and attack. Let's hear how they sound separately and then together. Like the SM57, the Beta 57A is a great choice for close miking snare and toms. Its tight pattern gives you a focus sound with great clarity. Let's hear how the Beta 57 sounds on the snare. The Beta 181 is one of my favorite microphones because it's so unique and sounds amazing. It's a side address small diaphragm condenser with interchangeable capsules for cardioid, supercardioid, bidirectional, and omni patterns. We're using the cardioid capsule for the hi hat. Let's hear how it sounds. If you need a sturdy, reliable instrument microphone, then look no further than the Beta 56A. It's great for percussion, guitar amps, brass, and more. It has a built-in stand adapter and a lower XLR connector, so it's simple to set up. It also became a popular drum vocal mic because of its ease of use, angling, and clarity. Let's hear how the Beta 56 sounds on rack and floor tom. We're going to use the Beta 181 again as our space pair of overheads. With the cardioid capsule, it has a broad frontal pickup with excellent off-axis rejection, giving us incredible accuracy and imaging. I also like to use the bidirectional or figure eight capsule with the Beta 181 on my overheads. It gives me a nice blend of the kit and the room together. Let's hear how it sounds on overhead. For our mono stereo room mics, we're going to use the Beta 27 as our room mono. The Beta 27 is a side address large diaphragm condenser with really low noise, tight supercardioid pattern, and a flat frequency response. It has a 15 dB pad and three position low frequency filter to help tailor your sound for the source. For our stereo room mics, we'll use a pair of 181s with the Omni capsules. Let's hear how they sound separately. Now that we have everything set up, let's take a listen to the beta series of microphones. You probably thought we forgot this one, but how could we? One of the most popular mics for toms is the Beta 98. You get a superior small diaphragm condenser with a flexible, durable gooseneck to get a great sound in any position every time. Let's hear how they sound on the rack and floor toms and then with the whole kit.
That's it. I hope you learned something new and useful about our beta series of microphones. As always, position your microphones, listen back on headphones or your monitors, move the mic around to find the best position for your gear and your mic selection. Thanks for watching and stay creative.